In the last video, you created a new variable called index, and remember we're using a linear search here, so the user types in what domain name they're looking for, and we want our search to go down this list one by one, starting at one, going to two, going to three, going to four, and so on, until the value here, what they find in the position for each index, twitter.com or littlebits.cc, matches what the user typed in. So to keep count of what position we're at, 1, 2, 3, 4 or so on, we're going to use this value, this variable called index. That needs to start at 1. So at the start of our program, in data, we need to set index to be 1. And then we need to get it to increase by 1 every time it doesn't find a match. That will make it move down the table until it finds a match. Now we need it to repeat until it gets to the end of this table. So in our control we can have repeat until and we could have repeat until index equals 1001 which would mean it would be down at the end of the table. Well that means we wouldn't be able to add or take away any domains from this this list here. So what we can do instead is something quite cunning which was repeat until index and I'm going to grab an operator equals index is equal to, I'll drag that in there and we want it to be equal to the length of this domain names table so what will happen there is our program will run until our index number gets up to the same number as there is in the length here, regardless of what that is. If we change that to 100, it'll run 100 times. If we change it to 10,000, it'll run 10,000 times. So there we go. Repeat until the index equals the length of domain names. And now we've got a decision to make. As our index moves down, if the domain variable here is equal to the value in this position here, we need to do something. If it isn't, we need to move on. So for that, we need an if and an else there, like so. So in the else, because this is what happens if we don't find a match, we need to change index by one so the first time it runs, if there isn't a match in position 1, index will change to 2 and look in there. If there isn't a match by position by int 2, if there isn't a match in position 2, it'll change by 1 and look in position 3 and so on and keep going down. In the next video, we're going to show you what happens when we find a match.